Vietnamese food culture. It's one like no other country can really compare to. Really Inventive, ingenious, and to the uninitiated, or those of us from the West, sometimes a little scary. But it tells a story, a story of culture, history, the struggles of the working class. We were so poor. This is the only way we make it us eat for a longer time. And how good food can stop a nation that is always on the go to sit in these plastic stalls on a random sidewalk with family, friends, and the community. In this one, we meet up with our guide, Saigon's resident foodie, Annie. Hi, my name is Annie. To show us some of the city's best it's street food spots. We're gonna try some Vietnamese local food today in the street park. And to push me out of my comfort zone to try some food that you wouldn't really expect me to try. Turtle. Turtle. From a turtle? <laughs> I've come a long way. Let's go. Here's good? Yeah. All right, well, thank you. We're gonna sit down for our first stop and first meal. They have the whole kitchen inside. Perfect. Perfect. So Annie was telling us that these ladies here working and doing all the food are all sisters and this lucky man here is the in-law so he gets to have a fun time with them every single day telling them what to, telling him what to do with all the food all the time but they've got a really good system from what it looks like with pots and pans and there's like a big one here that has a whole bunch of steam went all over the front of my camera yeah smells good okay so I missed a bit there there's a bit of chicken, there's lots of different kinds of meats, and they're all grabbing things, serving things, plating things, pulling things, so there's a whole lot going on here, right on the side of the road here in District 1. District 4, Di sorry, District 4. We just came from District 1. Organized chaos. We already have what was waiting. It is what? Vietnamese ginseng. Jin ginseng? Yeah. Yeah, that one. It's the one you have in Korea, but different version. Uh, if you see a couple having this kind of dish, I tell you tonight they're gonna reproduce. Because Vietnamese, we save all the money for food. Yeah. yeah. When it comes to nutritious source food, it's only to reproduce. <laughs> <laughs> That's why our population grows to 92 million in this small country. Ginseng. Yeah, yeah. Vietnamese version. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Oh, I'm not sure how to describe that. Very sweet. A bit that. syrupy, but a bit but syrupy, not heavy. but yeah, explain, yeah, yeah. So, do we eat that? Yeah, but we want to drink the soup first because it's a bit hot. Okay, just a few more small. What's in this? Uh, on the Chinese house, we have Chinese dates, we have Chinese apples, we have ginseng, we have cassava, and we have lotus root. It smells like sweet. <laughs> It actually tastes sweet. Yeah, kind of not not like honey, but like sweet. You know, like I don't know how to, you said apple. Yeah. Yeah. Fruity sweet. I'm not sure how to describe it, but yes, because there's no sugar in it. It's yeah. From this. So you've got like the stems yeah, and things like that. Yeah. Chewy. Oh. It's like um, it's almost like eating an apple. But it's lotus, right? Oh, that's it. Below the water is this one. Oh. Two things that are blowing my mind right now is that she was saying that seafood. Oh. Seafood here is what you get on a budget. It's an affordable price and pork, meat, chicken or whatever is the most expensive option. But at home in Australia, it's the complete opposite. You buy seafood for, I don't know, hundreds of dollars, like a lot of money. Pork and chicken are usually the more cheaper or affordable options. So I've seen a difference already. That's expensive? But only this kind of chicken, not that kind of industrial chicken. The yeah. chicken that's soft and has the breast thing is a cheap one. So that's the other difference is that we have chickens that have like more like white meat on the breast and things but that's not good here we don't like that kind of yeah. chicken so a bit of difference so, just tear, tear it apart and then put it in the, the salt how about you show me how to do it go, michael it's your channel, you do um, it. It looks a yeah it is honestly if you're we're from australia we don't get food served like this i've never seen a chicken whole i've never I seen a head on a chicken that i'm about yeah. to eat and i've never seen one like black okay all right just take the, the chicken thigh out. Yeah, you just like take it off? Yeah, I think it's really soft. That's a wing. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to do it. <laughs> Maybe you should do it for me. Okay. Just don't look at it because it's scary. Yeah, look away. <laughs> this the chicken thigh. Oh, it smells nice. Yes. I can smell it. It just smells like normal chicken. You'd be right. So why is it black? Bomb black. Wait, so you don't like like crisp It's not dyed bird? or it's not cooked. No. Oh, it's actually black. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is in the sauce. This is chicken. I see what it is though. I see it's a chicken. The problem when you see the whole thing. Yeah. You try it. Yeah, I'll do it. 
Oh my, okay, you just... Ooh. It's soft, right? It's tender. Mmm. It's a lot to look at. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but it tastes the same as chicken. I just got to not look at it. Dip in here? But that's how we pre uh, present um, chicken in a Vietnamese dish. You yeah. always see the just ball. Just the whole yeah. chicken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, tastes the know. same. It tastes the same in the mouth, but it just doesn't look the same on the plate. <laughs> it just tastes like chicken now, though, you know? You but, feel better about it now. Yeah, I just don't I just don't like seeing what it is. But. Yeah. So would you eat the head, too, or just this? Yes, I tell you, if you walk there and see people, they might chew the whole thing. Because they don't want to waste a penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, you know, yeah. See, for Vietnamese, uh, this is expensive. Yeah, yeah. okay. Because it's kind of chicken is rare. How much would this be to buy, like dog? Uh, 100,000. So this was the uh, crab, crab soup? Crab soup. This is the crab meat. Yeah. I expected it to be like soup, like this one, like uh, like yeah. watery, liquidy, but it's very like gelatinous. I don't mind the taste, but the texture is really thick. Come on. The crab tastes good. Really? Why? Because we can't plant the apples. The you can't rest, plant them. The rest is cheap. That's green! <laughs> but it's green! Yeah, if you cut it, it's orange. <laughs> Hi! Hi, beautiful. It um, gives you milk. Milk? Yeah, it tastes like milk when you eat this one. That one. What is it called? Boops. Boops or boobs? Boops. <laughs> How much it would cost to yeah, live there? Uh, about one hundred dollar to one hundred and fifty dollar a month. <laughs> Xin chào. Just come here and stand. Okay. Xin chào. Xin chào. <laughs> Is that tamarind juice? Tamarind juice. Okay. Yeah. And like peanuts? Yeah. Peanuts? It's gonna be in the juice. She's gonna make us um, that one. We're gonna drink with the seafood because it takes time for the seafood people to cook seafood. This is our childhood thing. We finish school, we go to the shop and buy tamarind juice. Tamarind juice. Different right type of rice paper. I'm gonna get you some rice paper. Yes. What is it? Just made from rice? Yes. But it's flat. Yeah. It's rice. Do paper. you like flatten it out? No, we just uh, make the rice powder, add the water, and then we make like, like a pancake. Oh, okay. pancake kind of thing. Okay. It smells a lot like seafood. <laughs> so it's like really icy. Like a whole, it's kind of like a crush kind of thing with like a whole bunch of peanuts. This is like cocktail without alcohol. Cocktail without yeah. alcohol. Put like bits of tamarind in the top and everything. Yeah, we've had tamarind before. We had it in the jungle. We had it in, in yeah. Chiang Mai in the jungle. With Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. It's refreshing. With rice paper. Rice paper? Yeah. What's on the inside? Uh, onion, uh, stream salt, whatever they put in. Yeah, whatever they put in there. Everything. Oh, it's like super. Chewy. <laughs> like a fruit roller. Okay, leave some, leave some here to get the cookbook. Oh, is it like spicy? Yeah. A little bit of spicy. <laughs> Just a little bit. Because ah! we were so poor. This is the only way we make it eat for a longer time. If I turn my mouth on fire. <laughs> Uh, morning glory uh, with uh, sea snail and ramen. Oh, sea snail and ramen. It smells really good. Mellow, mellow. What's that? It's the name of this. Mellow, mellow. Mellow, mellow. What is mellow, mellow? <laughs> mellow, mellow. Let's try the mellow, mellow. Oh, it's so chewy. A little. Oh, too much? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's better. That's not spicy. That's good. <laughs> Pen shell. What's that? Pen shell and we grill the pen uh, the shell together with onion sauce. Is that like a oyster? No, no. Yeah, this is the size of it. I've never seen that. Oh, it looks like a mussel. Yeah, but much bigger. But bigger, yeah, it's massive. So, oh, look wow. how big it is. It's like the yeah. whole hand. Okay, try this. Okay, try. Oh, that's good. That's kind of soft. It's still a little bit chewy, but not like the snail. Hour. Oh. 
this street, it's like almost 10 p.m. at night. Yeah. It's alive. Coconut. Avocado. That's avocado. avocado. They're big. That's massive. <laughs> it's right here. In Australia, so big. it's expensive. So expensive. A dollar. A dollar per kilogram. Whereas per they're, they're one dollar each in Australia, but they're oh. half the size. They're this big at home, yeah. and they're probably two dollars fifty $2 each, each sometimes. Yeah. It's yeah, that we don't even eat it. Yeah, well, at home. Avocado is luxury because it costs so much. We actually have this. It's like, like guava. We actually have this inside joke where we can't buy a house in Australia because we spend too much money. We're too on addicted avocados. to avocado. Yeah. Try this one first and tell me what it is. Try this. Okay. This is an auto. Okay. All right. I'll try and guess. Oh, it looks like coffee. Try it. <laughs> So this one is like a really dark sort of uh, jelly liquid and then like part that's melting looks like coffee to me. It looks really, really good. Coffee. Coffee, you get coffee? it. Uh, the black one is turtle gel. Oh, what's that? It's a turtle. Turtle. From a turtle? <laughs> turtle gel. You cook a turtle for long and now it became gel. <laughs> it's a normal thing. It's not illegal even now. So, no, no, it's cheap. You can buy it at the wet market. Coffee? So the sauce is coffee mixed with coconut milk. It's yeah. Like Vietnam. Yeah. Oh, you just put this part. It's all right. No, you. Can. Well, that's chewy. Well, it tastes like coffee again. Is it still coffee on the outside? It's the same sauce. Oh, same sauce. I don't know what that is. It's long and jolly. Long oh. It's like lychee. 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 Longer. 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 It looks like matcha. Yeah. It looks like this is matcha. Yeah, it's like green. Okay, uh, yeah, matcha. I don't like matcha. <laughs> oh, you have to get the food. The what? Okay. Is it coconut? Yeah. Yeah. There it is. One minute. But cream? Coconut cream or something? Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. So we're going to this place that apparently does the best rice, and they sell Xinjiao, Xinjiao. What we've been having tonight, it's kind of like a lot more seafood than anywhere that we've been before. Yes. Like normally it's like like really? minced pork or like something yeah. like that. But yeah, minced pork. Is, yeah. yeah, but this is the most That's amount it. of seafood. Why did you say that there was a lot of seafood? Only because it's cheap, or is it because we're in a place where you can easily get seafood? Uh, or? Because Saigon has sea, uh, sea, sea access. In the south. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually cheaper to have seafood here. If you go to Hanoi, you, of course you could not have seafood this way. Yeah. Okay. Nineteenth uh, century. By the nineteenth century. Gecko! You like gecko? And he just told us that that's where they catch all the catfish that, <laughs> that they were eating. This is the old bridge um, yeah. that goes across from District 4 to District 1. Thanks, Thank you so thanks Annie! Bye. Bye! So that was definitely the most out of my comfort zone food I've ever tried or had. Tell me in the comments below what would you have tried, what would you have missed, what would you... What do you like? Do you like any of them? If you're from Vietnam, let me know. Leave a comment down below. That is definitely out of my comfort zone and not really food that I would normally choose to eat at all. But I'm glad that we tried it here in Saigon in Vietnam. Like and subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.